EA Sports. It's in the game. Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Andre Bishop so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Morrison's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Introducing first, hailing out of Philadelphia, Andre Bishop. 
Bichetta. His adversary from, from Quebec, Tony, Tony the Duke, Duke Morrison. Morrison. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Tommy Morrison stumbled back. He just got hurt. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Good combination to the body. Wow! Morrison's finding himself on the canvas. Knocked down there. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Oh, good exchange there. Solid left hand to the head. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combination. What a big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? The ref reaches the count of 10. A first round knockout, Teddy. You know, Joe, I always tell my fighters that first round, the most dangerous round, you gotta be ready for the most dangerous thing to happen. For a guy to come out quick, he was not ready for that. Danger happened, and it happened early. Now to make it official, we send it up to the ring.
morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Bishop's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Muhammad Ali's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Opening three minutes of this 10 round fight. Andre Bishop's a real treat for these fans. A pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. Every one of his fights is like a fire drill. I mean, the bell goes off. And bang, he's rushing to that fire. What's to start the fire? Muhammad Ali's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Wow, he backs up the combination, landed all four of them. And a flush hook lands by Andre Bishop. Muhammad Ali's ruined. Did you see that? That is a big, big punch that just put him down. And right now, he's thinking about whether or not he wants to do this as a living. He's going to have to pull himself together here. Now, he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes. Kill some time. Make the referee come in between you and break you. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combination. He landed a good one there. Ali's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he could just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand. Yeah. The greatest is jammed by an uppercut. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Andre Bishop's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. End of round one. Ali's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, so, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a sticky man fight. I know a lot of people are going to say that he's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. A snapping combination by Andre Bishop. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, he's flinching. Good 
combination on the one-two by Muhammad Ali. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ali's nailed by a huge hook. Move your head. A knifing left hand by Andre Bishop. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Trying to erode away that body with the combination bunch. Resourceful hook by Andre Bishop. <sighs> Andre Bishop's last round is a good example of what can happen when you just stay active. He threw more punches, he landed more punches. You can see the punch stats here. And it really paid off for him. Yeah, what's that old saying with great power comes great responsibility and with great punch stats or high punch stats comes danger sometimes well, well i made that one up i don't know if there's anything i like it. For that but that's where you gotta be careful yeah the punch numbers are real high but the more you throw the more chance of somebody catching you as you're throwing he has to be aware of that zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs accurate shot straight right hand comes in Muhammad Ali smashed by an uppercut. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre. And bang, and away he goes. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Muhammad Ali is able to get us. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's clearly found something that he likes, and it's that uppercut on the inside. Yeah, what he needs to find is something on top of the dose, because the head comes up, or when the head's up, put a couple right on top. To the belt line he goes with the left hand. That is a strong... He did not see that right hand at all. He may want a big, big shot comes crashing home. Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues! He's knocked down again! But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And this round comes to an end. Interesting first three rounds we've seen so far. Ali's willing to engage in the fight. He's willing to throw punches, but he's losing every round. Yeah, I mean, you can throw punches, but it's kind of like spitting in the wind. You know, you could spit, but if the wind's blowing at you, it's going to come back and hit you in the face, and that's exactly what's happening here. He throw punches from the wrong direction, from the wrong distance, and they're coming back and hitting them right in the face. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Scored well with that right hand to the body. The greatest is on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, solid. Oh my, what a shot. Muhammad Ali's down. He's got to beat the count. That punch was absolutely a stutter. And that came so wide that he had no preparation for it. That's where an awkward shot pays dividends. One, two, three, four, five, six. The fight is over. A knockout victory. Unable to...
to beat the count. To make it official, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Mission. Bishop's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is here, you gotta win, but you wanna win spectacularly. You wanna get people interested, excited. He just did that. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. So glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Andre Bishop's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. walk is very interesting here. This isn't over-the-top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense, glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. Hailing out of Philadelphia, Andre Fischer. His adversary, hailing out of Charlotte, the gentleman Patterson. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round scheduled for 10. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Andre Bishop's knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? Oh, what a devastating hook by Andre Bishop. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. He really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. 
Eddie, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to the situation? Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked down? Yeah, he did. Oh, he didn't know what had happened. I realized then, he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Bishop's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Patterson, bang, by an uppercut. There's the combo downstairs. A stabbing right hand comes in by Andre Bishop. Move your head. Come on, man. Move your head. Patterson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Precision work with the left hand by Patterson. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Andre Bishop. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. Bishop's corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Big with the hook to the head. Chopping a little wood with that hook. Bishop's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had a big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Patterson's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Turned that hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect. Great hook to the head that time. A quick, devastating hook by Andre Bishop. Good biting, snapping shot by Patterson. Andre Bishop's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off. Big shot there. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Doubling up the jab by Patterson. And that's the end of round two. Bishop, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving ahead, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock. And not there it is! Forget about the judges. This one may be over now. Patterson down, and he looks like he's in bad shape. When you fall that way, you usually don't get up. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Oh! Knocked down again! Unreal!
Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. How are they gonna stop this? It's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your Bishop's able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.